In this video, we're going to take a look at a great time saving feature. And what that is, is being able to set some default loss information within your new files. And what I mean by that is let's eliminate a lot of repetitive work, meaning typing your name in, typing the adjusting company information in, or the carrier information on every claim that you create. Let's have that automatically populate into the file upon creation. So to do that, all we need to do is let's go into a claim that you've already created and you probably entered all the loss information manually. So as soon as I go into this file, I go to the loss information screen and over to the right, these are the most important fields to be concerned with here, the carrier field, the adjuster, and the adjusting company. Those are fields that show up in our estimate header. So if I were to do a print preview of this particular file, bring over our building estimate and preview, okay. Here's the company information, meaning the carrier. Here is the adjuster name. Now I can also switch this back and forth for company. I could make that the adjusting company if I wanted as well instead of the carrier. But it'd be nice if I could set my program to automatically put this information in there on every file that I create, especially if I'm setting this to the adjusting company because chances are you're probably doing multiple files for the same company. So let's close the preview get out of the print screen and go back to the loss information. So all we need to do here to set this as default, it's very simple. I come up to the top here and let's first look at the carrier field. So I'm going to click on carrier. Okay, now this is all the information for the carrier and this is information that I typed in when I created this file. And you see I've got the company name here and I've got their address located here. I could also add additional information, phone numbers and fax numbers, things of that nature. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go with the name and the address. So once I'm satisfied with this information, all I do is go up to the top here, hit this contacts button. I'm then asked if I want to add this information to the system contact manager. I go ahead and say yes, and that's it. So I've just added that. Let's go ahead and hit done. Now let's do the same thing for the adjuster field. So I see adjuster here. I click on the adjuster information button at the top, and this is information that I've typed in for this particular file and all I've done for this one is put in my first and last name. I could also add my address here. I could add phone numbers, fax numbers, email addresses and it's great to have this stuff in there because this information will be available in other parts of the software like forms and reports and things like that. So if you put that stuff in now it saves you from having to retype it later on down the road. Another great thing about the adjuster entry is if I come down here to the other tab, I can put in things such as my federal tax ID number, uh, NFIP number, if I've got specific commission, hourly rates, things like that, and that information will carry over into the uh, billing and invoicing as well. So filling this all out up front is great. You can always come back and do it after the fact, but the sooner you do it, uh, the less you have to worry about filling this information out later on down the road. So if I go back to the main tab, all I have to do here is hit contacts. Once again, I'll be asked to add to contact manager. I say yes, and I'll click done. Okay, so the last one is the adjusting company. So let me click on the adjusting company information button here. Here is the adjusting firm name, and I don't have an address in there, so I'm going to put an address in there now. And now that I have that address in, that address stays with this contact record. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click contacts once again, add to contact manager, go ahead and say yes. Okay, so that's part one. I now have these entries into my contact manager. The second part is going to what's called the preferences screen. That's where we go and set these pieces of information or these companies and contacts as default information for new claims that get created. So to do that, I'm going to get out of this claim. Okay, I go to the maintain menu up at the top left and the very first menu there is preferences. I'll click on that. Now just make a mental note here, preferences. This is where you go to set all of your default program information. You'll see this menu on the left that shows you the different pieces of information that you can set as default. So for instance, one of them is sales tax. If you're working in a particular area uh, and you know what the sales tax rate is and you want that sales tax to be automatically implemented into your new files, you can go ahead and put that rate here 
and that will stay for any new files that get created. So be careful with that though because as you know if you move from area to area and the sales tax rate changes you'll need to come back here and make that edit. If not you'll have an incorrect sales tax for a new area that you're working in. So the reason we came here is to set loss information. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the loss info screen by clicking on loss info and these are all the available fields of loss information that I can set default contacts and information for. So if you're working a catastrophe, uh, as you know, the loss date for all those files is typically the same. So I could set a default loss date here and every time I create a new file, that loss date is automatically placed into the file. Same thing for the loss type, the city, state, or cat number. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set, first and foremost, the carrier slash client. So I'm gonna hit this drop down. And what this does is it accesses any entry into my contacts that are designated as carriers. So there's that Acme Insurance. I'm going to select that. Next, I'll go to the Adjusting Company field. There's only one entry designated as an adjusting company, and that's the Adjusters Unlimited. I'll click there. And then finally, the most important piece is myself, the Adjuster. I'm going to click on Adjuster, and there's my name. So what is going to happen now is I create a new file, this information and all the related information will carry over automatically. Now if I go back over to the left here, I can also manipulate what shows up in our uh, estimate header. So if I click on header, you'll see this section right here which is most important, standard header options. Select address for company. Now what that means is what company do we want to display in the loss information header of our estimates. Right now it's set to carrier. I'm going to switch that to adjusting company. Another thing I can do is the term adjuster by default is what shows up in our header. Uh, you can change that to say estimator if you're a contractor or you just don't want to use a designation adjuster for whatever reason. So now that I've set that I'm going to go ahead and hit done. Now that is set in our preferences so what should happen now is if I come up here and create a new claim I'm going to go to the home menu create new okay and I'm just going to create a new claim without using the wizard and I'll give this a claim number I'll just call this test one and hit OK uh, that creates a new file now right away you'll notice that the carrier the adjuster and the adjusting company fields are filled out for me so that just saved me some time on this file granted it might have only been a minute or two but if you add up a couple minutes on 30 or 40 claims in the span of a month it's a lot of time that you're saving so let me create a building estimate really quickly here so we can see what the header is going to look like when we go to print it. I've got a building estimate created. I'm going to hit print, bring over the building estimate, and just do a preview. And as you can see, even though we haven't done anything within this particular file, the company information is filled out for me, my adjuster name is there, and anything else here is just information specific to this claim. That would be the insured's name, uh, the insured location, date of loss, policy number, things of that nature. So that is information you will have to address on every claim obviously, but the stuff that stays the same, you'll see it's already set for me. So that is how you set preferences to automatically integrate some of your loss information. It'll save you some valuable time. Uh, so I hope this video helped, and if you have any other questions about this, our support team will be happy to help you with that. Thank you very much.